Smart Urban Intermediaries is a project that focuses on understanding the work uh, of people who are making a difference in urban neighborhoods. Uh, and the project is uh, across four countries, Netherlands, Denmark, England and Scotland. We also have partners in Portugal and in Poland and we've been learning through uh, transnational labs, transnational encounters and sharing some of the experiences and dilemmas and challenges and strategies to try and make a difference locally. What we wanted to do with this project is to make all of that visible so that it can be understood and it can be valued. And the reason this is really important to our project is because part of what we want to do is to contribute to change the conversation about smart cities so that it's not so focused only on technological innovation and we actually think more carefully about the social innovation and the democratic innovation that should drive the use of technology to make cities better and to improve people's lives. I think a really important part of all the labs and has certainly been here in Copenhagen are the uh, visits that we've taken. So uh, Sui's from Copenhagen arranged five different uh, walking tours around the neighbourhood. There are opportunities for people to be uh, inspired to make connections between what they see happening in Copenhagen back to the wider findings. This place is a garden for um, women. Most of them are refugees and uh, many of them suffer from a post-traumatic stress syndrome. So this is a therapy garden uh, where they can feel at home. When people have gone out on the visits we've asked them to take uh, photographs in response to one or two quite open prompts like what do you see that inspires you, what do you see that in illustrates our findings. The photographs always provide something that is surprising, unexpected, often quite like thoughtful and profound and brings questions and ideas to the table that we as researchers would not have been able to, to come up with. We had the sessions with the other SUIs in different cities. We went to Krakow and we are now in Copenhagen. I am not alone in my thinking and in my world of working. And it's, it's, very, it's very important to, to share the knowledge and share the language and find in this also a common language um, and also uh, not being afraid of the difference. There is such a lot of innovation in communities going on in different places. It's all pretty isolated. This is an opportunity to exchange ideas, share some thoughts about the work that's going on. Uh, so it's pretty timely. I think people are really uh, involved because of social justice or social injustice. I think they're involved because they believe in empowerment. And that's more than engaging in the political system because, frankly, the political system rarely uh, bends to accommodate that. Participation could be very important because it can bridge to a new form of reconstruction of trust, which I think in northern European context is a problem, especially in the area with a lot of immigrants that come from countries uh, uh, where they have a very negative vision of politics and so they apply the same vision uh, to the new country. And I think in, th in this moment in which politics are uh, getting reduced to uh, to slogans, uh, it's uh, it's very very important to work in of the quality of participation and mediators uh, and uh, inter intermediaries in general are very very important. It's really a chance to engage in depth over a period of time with all the different issues that emerge from doing this sort of uh, urban practice. In a way, uh, you know, there's no completely final answer, but you just keep talking and. The, conversations develop, you begin to suggest things to policymakers about what sort of resources can help uh, sewers in doing the work they do. Um, so it's just a fascinating process. At the moment my head is absolutely jam-packed, full of ideas, thoughts, um, learning from other people, um, which is usually what happens when you get a minute to step away from your desk and just reflect, but to be surrounded by other people who do very similar things, that feels quite empowering and hopefully when we get back to Govan as well that some of the people that are here on the trip will make that point of getting together and saying how can we, how can we improve what we do. This lab in particular, uh, being here in Copenhagen, has been really insightful to see how similar we are to projects across Europe and to meet 
people who are using creative participation mm. or working in peer support and supporting volunteers and recognising that as a, a, a sort of a very valuable community asset. What I've particularly valued about this project is the spirit of co-inquiry in which it's been conducted. And for me that means it's very much about recognising that we're all sharing um, new insights, discovering through our discussions and reflection and observations what's important about what SUIs do. The word SUI, the smart urban intermediary, at first just did not sit easy. And I think two years down the line it's almost like, yeah, we've embraced the term smart urban intermediary because now there's a, a kind of a groundswell of us and with that come support and um, insight and learning and shared knowledge. So it's been really interesting from that perspective. One of the things that I think has worked really well was the idea of developing a community of practice around the idea of smart urban intermediation. Actively referring to, you know, I am SUI is the name of uh, a network that they want to continue to develop. Um, so I think the way that that community of practice has like bonded and come together, but also the way that it wants to sustain beyond the kind of formal funding of the project, I think is really, really exciting. Ever-changing, moving cities, breaking walls of knowledge keepers, seekers, seekers, keepers. Of the space in between, we capture unspoken thoughts, tasting the unknown, daring to jump, go through the sour, how it looks like is not how it is, the taste of prejudice. We became researchers and researchers became suis. Are we all one?